What's happening ladies and gentlemen, this is Minerva Architecture Inspirations. Today I'm going to show you the best tips and tricks for creating an architecture animation in D5 Render. Stay until the end to get a chance to win a pro version of D5. Let's get started. The video editor in D5 includes three important elements. Clips, shots, and views. Each clip includes one or multiple shots, and each shot is made of different views. To start, Click on the video button on the top right corner to open the video editor in D5. Then we will select the first clip and start creating a shot. After setting the perspective that you want, click here to add a view to our first shot. Then you can adjust the camera to another position and add another view using this button. You can continue to add more views if you like. Now you can preview this shot with the play button. At the bottom of each view, you will see two buttons. One is for updating the view. And the other one is for deleting it. Alternatively, you can right click and delete or press delete on your keyboard. By default, the duration between each keyframe is 3 seconds, but you can adjust it by dragging left or right or manually enter a value. You can also adjust the duration of the whole shot here. Furthermore, you can enable the auto view interval option which helps the animation have a consistent pace throughout the shot. To add a new shot, click this button here and select Add New Shot from Current View. Continue this process if you want to add more shots of your design. You can also edit a camera path by selecting the shot and click on Edit Path. Then you see the camera path in the scene and the preview of the shot in the bottom right corner. Now you can use the Gizmo tool to move and rotate the camera path as a whole or you can adjust the individual nodes. Instead of manually creating camera shots, D5 Render also provides templates to help you quickly create cinematic animation. Hover your mouse over each template to preview the effects. When you click on the template, it will create a shot starting with the current view. Each template has unique parameters that you can adjust to fit your style. There are many more types of templates that you can use, such as 360 Pan and Dolly Twist, which can take your animation to a whole new level. Also, there will be new templates coming to D5 version 2.7. After creating camera shots, you can further fine-tune the camera movement and rotation using these presets. Or you can create a custom curve for the animation. When you click on the view, you will see more advanced settings such as exposure and focal length. If you create a zoom animation while changing the focal length, then you can create a vertical effect like this, which is super cool. To create a time-lapse effect, select the first view in your shot and go to Environment. Here I'm using HDRI, but it works the same for Geo and Sky. Make sure the sun is turned on and click on Custom to adjust the altitude and azimuth, which will set the starting position of the sun. Then I can click here to update this view. For the second view, I will do the same and set the sun to another position and update it. Now we have a time-lapse animation. Besides changing the sound effect, you can add rain or snow to your animation with a click of a button. The sliders in the precipitation effects allows you to customize the look to your specific needs. Another cool effect that you can use is the depth of field effect. To use it, first select the camera option in the upper right corner of the viewport then turn on Depth of Field. Next, select Focus and click on the object that you want to focus on. Now I can adjust the Blur Intensity and click on this button to update the first view. Then I can select the next view and set the focus on another object. Then update it. And that's how you can use the Depth of Field effect to shift camera focus during an animation. To create a light on and off animation, first navigate to the beginning of the shot and select the light. Then click here to create the first keyframe. And I will switch the light off. Next, I will move to another moment when I want the light to turn on. Then add another keyframe and switch the light on. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? In D5 Render, you can make your animation more lively using animated objects, which includes ornaments, particles, animals, people, plants, etc. You can also create smoke or steam effects by importing a single plane and insert a video file. 
Then adjust the transparency slider to remove the background. This method also works for fire as well. For animating people and vehicles, you can animate them manually with keyframes, or you can use the animation path. First, select the path tool and select which category of asset you want to add to your model. I will create a vehicle path. Then I can select which vehicles I want to add to the path. Now I can draw the path with left click and I can use right click to finish and press done. Then I can make more adjustments such as the density, width, quantity, direction, speed, etc. If you have many shots and views in your animation, D5 makes it really easy to manage them with shortcuts such as Shift and Control to help select multiple shots and views. Then you can drag to change the order. Or you can right click to duplicate or delete them in bulk. D5 also offers many aspect ratio presets such as 1x1 or 9x16 which is great for social media posts. Alternatively, you can set the aspect ratio to whatever you want here. When exporting, you can choose the formats between MP4, AVI, or a sequence of images, and the resolution can go up to 4K. You can also choose between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. When you're ready, you can export each shot individually or add multiple to the render queue and render them all at once. And those are the tips and tricks for creating animation in D5 Render. To download a free version of D5, go to the link in the description box below. I'm also giving away 3 pro versions of D5. All you have to do is leave a like on this video, be subscribed to my channel, and leave a comment below and let me know what project you would use in D5 Render. Anyway, that's all for today. Stay inspired guys and I'll see you next time.